Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am sitting in front of my post office. I'm sitting in front of the back of the post office. I have a lot of packages and I thought I would show you my package haul for today and then I'm going to be getting one of these, I don't know what to call them, buggies, I don't know. And I'll be putting all my packages in there, rolling them up to the back door, ringing a buzzer and they will magically take them away from me. It has been quite an adventure, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every bit of it, and it is hot. It is so hot, and I hear the train. I know how to uh, avoid the train now, so <laughs> I won't get stuck where it is. Um, okay, so let me just show you. It's pretty bright, so I can't really see what you're seeing, but I have a lot of boxes on this one. And I have a, a tub in the center. Of course, there has to be a big truck come and make noise. And uh, a lot of packages in the tubs. And then the boxes are on top. And on this side, I have some more containers filled. And I have more boxes in the front. To say I'm hot is an understatement. Oh my God. She goes, wow, you have a lot this time. I said, yes, I had a big weekend. That was very, very fun, but I'm stuck in my head now thinking that today is Monday and that I have the rest of the week to set up my next sale. But it's Wednesday afternoon and my sale starts Friday at noon. So I better get busy. I'll just do some things that are kind of easy. I don't know. It's going to be a smaller sale this weekend for sure. I'm crooked. Here's the deal. I knew Derek was incredibly busy today, which is why he wasn't here to help me. He has a bunch of meetings. I don't know what I'm doing. And he was also going to be with his trainer. So I said, don't worry about it. I can handle, I can handle the packages. And uh, that part is fun. The packing them, not so much, but I did okay with it because I gave myself until Wednesday and I, you know, I, I was able to get it done. That's all I care about. I offered to go uh, to take Skylar to therapy today, Wednesday. It's not my week. I told him I would do every other week, but I knew he was busy. And I said, unless you want to use that time to get away from things and just sit and contemplate <laughs> for the hour while you're waiting for her or maybe record or whatever. He said, if you feel like taking her, I won't say no. So I'm going to take her. So I'll be doing a car vlog from there. I don't know if I'm going in any stores. It is so humid and the stores don't seem cold enough for me around here, but uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so I will be hopping on in a couple of hours, but you're going to see me like in just a moment. I'm at Schuyler's Therapy. We were a little early, so I took just a little ride on State Line to see if I could find a store to go to. And right around the corner, there's a nice Dollar Tree. It looks nice and big. So I think I will go there. I'll take the camera in with me. I don't know if I'll be comfortable recording, but we shall see. I know the name of the lake that I'm looking at right now. It's Greenbrook Lake. It's really, really pretty here. And there was a whole bunch of geese and Skylar's petrified of geese. <laughs> I think they're adorable, but they're not here now. I was gonna like maybe feed them some of her lunch. <laughs> I wanted to mention about my sale and my packages. I used to have some really big sales a few years ago and then I kind of like just you know kept it to a minimum and but the sale that I just had was one of my big ones and I started it a week ago today I started it on a Wednesday as an early bird sale to um, list things that I still had to cut so then I could cut to order and that worked out great and so it I started it on a Wednesday and now it's final on a Wednesday all my packages are out so you know that was fun I needed I needed something like that and I will have a sale this you know Friday <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna get ready for that but I have plenty of fat quarters that I do not have to 
uh, cut. They're already, you know, the ones that you saw in those boxes. They come all bagged. So I can make some sets of those and then come up with a few other things. But I wanted to let you know that I had 115 orders. Now, when I say an order, I mean somebody ordered some stuff and paid and then I print that with multiple items on that order that's one order and I had a hundred and fifteen of those and most of them it's multiple items so that was that was very good the most I ever had was a hundred and sixty nine orders and that used to take me an entire at least five days to um, to get everything packed and shipped that was when I was in Maine that ended up being a little over 50 packages because a lot of those orders, individual orders, were still from the same people, especially where I would list some things on Friday, some things on Saturday, some things on Sunday. Some people shopped and bought every day, so that gave multiple items, and so I ended up with a little over 50 packages, which is still quite a lot, especially I had a lot of boxes. And it's amazing how much I can fit in those boxes, like how many different things that people ordered. And I have to double check to make sure. Skylar helped me with sorting and with that many items, even when there's not a lot of items, will sort and will make mistakes. Like somebody might have ordered two of the exact same thing, but you know, without looking, we just put one aside. So when I'm all done sorting, I'm always very careful. I'll say, okay, all these things I know sold, so they belong to someone, but I am always very careful. I take the, you know, I take the printout and I, you know, circle each thing to make sure that I have it. And that's when I'll notice, oh, she got two of these. So I'll be like, okay, that's what's on the table over there. And then sometimes at the end, I'll have stuff left over. And that means that PayPal most likely uh, the button broke, it will set it to zero when I still might have one or even two of that item and so nobody can order it. I think I still have it but you know I'd have to go and check every PayPal button every time. PayPal is a dinosaur when it comes to these PayPal buttons but it's what I know and it's what I stick with because I just don't feel like going through changes. I considered Shopify but I don't know, it's just so much easier to just do what you already know how to do, even though it's not perfect and nothing would be perfect. So I don't know, it's 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 a pretty good system that I've got going. And so I um I'm ready to do it all over again in a small scale this weekend. But I I'll have another big sale like this probably for the new year. I don't think I'll have another sale this big before then. Yeah, all that boring business talk. I'm upset that the pool is closed again. I stopped by the office yesterday. Okay, first of all, Monday I checked because it was a holiday, so I was hoping it would be open, but it wasn't. If it had been open, then it would have been closed on Tuesday. So Monday it was closed, so Tuesday I expected it to be open, but our pool guy, who is the general maintenance guy, he's off this week, so I wondered, I was like, maybe they're not gonna have it open this week. So I went by Tuesday, and it was chained. They put a chain right around the gates. So we can't get in. So I stopped at the office to ask. And you guys know me. I'm very nervous when it comes to asking questions or whatever. But I'd rather do it in person because it even makes me more mentally ill if I have to call somebody. <laughs> so, so I went in the office and I asked her, I said, is the pool closed for good or is it just because Wayne is gone? And she said... Um, I mean, gone for the week, not just gone forever. And she said, and she was, uh, she's like, no, it's closed because yesterday was a holiday. It was open yesterday and it's closed today. She says, we always open it on Monday holidays. And I said, but it, it wasn't open yesterday. She goes, yes, it was. And I said, well, but it wasn't. You know what I mean? I, I said, I saw the chains and she just kind of started dismissing me and Right now, the office is in an apartment. Their big office building is going to be renovated. So I'm like standing in the living room of that apartment, which is right now an office. And she starts going down the hallway to like two bedrooms. And she's like going down the hallway and looks like she's going to turn into the bedroom. And you know, I'm thinking, 
is she just gonna leave me just standing here? I'm not even done asking her things because I also wanted to ask her about um, uh, renewing my my uh, contract lease. <laughs> I can't even think of the words I want. So before she turns and walks away and just leaves me standing there, I said to her, oh, but I, I have another question. And she goes, what? And I said, um, I have a question about my lease. And she says, if you have a question about your lease, she says, you have a copy of your lease. And I said, well, yeah, you know, I, I know I have a copy. I said, but I'm not sure right offhand where it is. And she starts to walk away. And I said, but I just want to know, since it's going to be time to renew it, Am I going to get something from you guys or do I just come in? She says, you'll be getting something from us. And I was like, okay. And she, she goes off into the bedroom. And when I left, I was, I was upset, not like upset by her. I don't take it personally. It just upsets me that, that for people like me, it's so hard for me to go in and ask someone. And I know I'm not going in there coming across as a bitch. I'm not like going in there defensive and you know, I go in, I smile, I ask my question. I'm like trying to be as nice as possible, but if they cross me, you know, I'm going to start to be like, huh? But that's not how I am going in. There's absolutely no reason somebody has to talk like that. And am I imagining it? Is it because I'm so nervous that I'm going to, I'm imagining that she's got a little bit of that kind of a tone in her voice. I don't think I'm imagining that. I'm certainly not imagining her walking away and getting ready to turn into a bedroom office. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm not imagining that, but I question it all the time because of all the gaslighting in my life. And, and it upsets me so much that I, that I, I think about it the whole time and it makes me afraid to ever ask another question you know it's like it sets me back and I just I wish that and you know I'm nerved up just talking about it that woman probably also has issues the difference is she should know that those issues can't be in the workplace you need to get another job you need to get a job like me go 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 work in your home where you're not going to bother anybody. <laughs> and because it's just, I don't know. I just wanted to know about the pool <laughs> and my lease. So, um, it, it does, it upsets me and I, I dwell on it and I think about it and now it's going to make it very, very hard for me to go back in that office because I'm going to worry that it's her. Now, ironically, when the pool opened, and it opened late at the end of June because they were having it redone, and I believe it was uh, opening on a Saturday, and I was going to be there, and they had let us know that we needed a new pool card. It's a magnetic thing to open the gate. And I ended up going on Friday and I walked in to the office. This is the regular office and it was her. And there was a man sitting at her desk and it, he was writing. I'm just assuming maybe he was filling something out for an apartment or something. And I walk in and she goes, do you need something? And I said, yes, I'm here for the pool card. And she goes, I'm too busy. You'll have to come back later. And I'm thinking to myself, there was a reason. I wasn't sure if I could come back later. And I said, can I come tomorrow? And I didn't even say, um, because it's Saturday, will anybody be here? You know, I just wanted to make sure I get the pool card. She goes, you can come back tomorrow if you want. And she just was snippy and that's it. And I, and I just left. And I don't know if I went later that day or Saturday. I think I did wait until Saturday to get my card. And it was the nice woman. And when I walked in, she's like oh hi and I was like hi I said I'm here to get my pool card she goes what number is your apartment so I tell her she opens the drawer right at the desk where the other woman was standing and uh, she said right here and she gives it to me and she has me sign something that's all the other woman had to do I, I know you must think this sounds petty but <laughs> it's 
in my world, these are very complicated things going on. And I, I can't wrap my head around why the other woman couldn't just do that. I don't understand the, the purpose, the reason behind it. Is it that she wants to um, show some form of authority like she has the right to just say you come back later I don't know does she really just not want to do it does she hate her job does she hate me <laughs> you know she doesn't have any reason to but I don't care if she does I would rather that when I would walk in if somebody wants to not do something I would rather they say you know what I'm standing right here and your key is right in this drawer, but I just don't want to fucking give it to you right now. Come back later. I'd be like, thank you. I will return to you later. <laughs> just, I just want people to explain. You know, she could say, I have a headache. I've had a bad day. I, I hate my job. I just don't want to do this. You know, come back when somebody else is here. Ah, uh, so anyway, wasn't that a lovely story? I wonder if I have time to go to Dollar Tree. <laughs> I think I am going to ride over there. Let's at least go there. I hope I like that Dollar Tree because this was just around the corner. Yes, I have to take a left turn, but there's a light. <laughs> so I'm okay with left turns as long as there's a light that I know for sure I'm going to have a chance to turn left without traffic moving everywhere around me. But I did want to uh, continue with my story because I'm obsessed with it right now. I um, checked the pool today and it's still locked. So she uh, was wrong about Monday when she said it was open and Skylar even said it was closed. It was chained up. She even checked. So I'm so glad that that I wasn't just making that up. And so I think it's because the pool guy is on vacation this week, but I'm also fearing that they might just not open it up after. I don't know when they close for the season, but I'm not going back in that office to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not asking any questions, but it makes me sad that I might have lost my pool. Even if they open up after this week, it won't be long, but it sucks. Oh, before I forget, if you're interested in 271 two-inch squares of denim that I cut from jeans at the time that I'm uh, uploading this video, I have that on eBay. And uh, you can see my eBay link in the description of this video. You can find it on my blog at DarleneMichaud.com. And I am very much into cutting squares from jeans. I think this is my third batch maybe my fourth I had done four inch squares first and then two inch squares and then four inch squares again and these are two inch squares I really like doing the two inch squares I might continue with two inch I don't know but um, yeah free shipping and the bid starts at a penny but it's up to like I don't know ten dollars right now ten fifty so it's still pretty cheap if you want to go take a look at that and I have a new shirt. It's a night shirt. I have purchased all my shirts in the sleepwear section. <laughs> this is like about down to my knees, but it's knit and I just cut it to like cover most of my bum. <laughs> and and um, I don't even sew it. I just let it roll up a little bit. And I just love these shirts. And the two nighties that I wear were dresses that I bought in the dress department at Walmart so it's kind of funny and is there anything else I wanted to say I actually have some notes here because I was thinking of things to talk about I feel like I might want to continue to take Skylar here not every week but I like getting out I love the ride back and forth with her we have fun in the car and she she sings to the songs and she has a really nice voice she's been in choir for a while and uh, I like to hear her sing and she's in therapy and I feel like I can use you guys as my therapy while she's in therapy huh sounds like a good idea and if I like this Dollar Tree I could know that that's you know when I could stock up on some snack stuff for her oh yeah so I wanted to say remember I was going to the library 
for craft classes and uh, I loved those classes. I went to maybe three or four. There's one art class, craft class, that is just once a month on a Thursday. I think it's the third Thursday of the month. I went in May, I went in June, in July I had to miss it because I was in Maine, and then in August they have no classes at all. They just regroup and they try to figure out what they want to do, and then everything starts up again in September. I also went to a different class that wasn't art, it was some jewelry making class, and I really loved that. And uh, now it's September, so their schedule is up, and I looked at it online, and I'm signing up for the next um, one that's on Thursdays. But they have trivia night, and I've not ever gone to one. Again, it's kind of like a social thing, but I might go tomorrow night. I think that's every Thursday. I might go just to see what it's like, and I just want to try to do things that, um, that are kind of like a safe environment for me. It's an, a library activity. You can be friendly while you're there, but I don't have to see these people after that. So I might go tomorrow, even though I'm going to be so busy with my sale, I think it's important. And I'm so nervous, I'm clenching my fist just thinking about it. Um, I can do that. I can go. I was so nervous for the first craft class. So afraid people were going to just talk to me and ask me all kinds of questions. <laughs> and then also afraid that I'd be the only person there. Um, I wasn't and I just love those classes. There's enough chit chat that it's interesting. Uh, nobody in particular talks to me. I am able to chime in and say some things because I don't feel... Um, I don't feel very nervous about it and you know so I, I want to get back to that I really missed it when uh, they were closed all of August I really missed it and I was sad that I had to miss it in July but give me a break I had to juggle so many things to get my mother buried in Maine I wasn't going to say no we can't do it that week because that's arts and crafts night <laughs> so, so um, anyway I'm gonna maybe go check out trivia night tomorrow night and I'll let you know if I do if I don't that's okay that's okay I'm not going to say I'm a failure because I couldn't do it I am going to be busy I can always use that as an excuse right but I really do think that's every Thursday so if I don't make it tomorrow night for whatever reason I can check it the next time all right I'm gonna go in Dollar Tree and I'm going to take the camera maybe I can show you something it's uh, a little messy I can't believe all the Dollar Trees around here are like that ever since I've been visiting Derrick in the south. In Maine, in my Sanford Dollar Tree, there's never anything in the way. Um, if they have stuff to put away, they put it away, but they don't leave the things in the aisles. I'll show you. Yeah, this is a major mess. Makes me just not want to shop here. There was one of the stores in Memphis that Skyla and I would go to and people would just be eating stuff out of bags of chips or different things and then they would just leave the bag and drink sodas and leave half a can just on, on a shelf. They have these little flat marbles, I'm going to call them but they're the small ones and I needed the big ones. You might remember that I did a video quite a while ago about those. I had glued paper on the back side and they showed, I think I might've made a pendant or something with a paper clip. That video has gotten new life and is bringing me quite a few views. That happens with older videos. Sometimes they'll just get found again and uh, it's like number one or two right now. It's been number one. I think it's down to number two for like a couple of months and it's been earning me some money. And I thought I could um, 
you know, uh, take advantage of that and do another video like that. But I can't find them. I don't want those little ones. When I look at all these like Dollar Tree craft things, I had bought so many things and that ended up all just going to Goodwill when I moved. I just want to move all that stuff. I miss my stuff. I don't. I don't really miss it. I miss that I didn't do stuff with it when I had it, but uh, I like living without all kinds of stuff. I mean, do they not have a place for this stuff like out back? It's just everywhere. I might want some plastic containers like this for my closet. My clothing is in the bathroom closet on just like two shelves. One shelf is winter. <laughs> the other shelf is what I'm wearing now. And then there's the third shelf is like where I keep my nighties and my swimsuit. And um, Again, I don't want a lot of stuff, but sometimes my stuff gets tossed around and, you know, I would like some things like this, like I could just put my leggings in one, undies in another, and then uh, it would be all nice and neat and I wouldn't have to uh, dig through as much as I do right now with the few things that I choose from. I don't know. I'll measure and see what would work. Look, we know that the price went up to $1.25 at Dollar Tree, but look, $3, $4, and $5. It might end up being more like a family dollar or a dollar general where everything's not just a buck, and maybe in just certain places. Um, and I don't, I don't mind. I, I, I did not have a heart attack when it went to a buck twenty-five, <laughs> because it's been a dollar forever. I mean, they can't continue to do that. And if they do have some higher price things, that means we'd be able to get more things. But you know, you just have to, you know, see is it worth it at Dollar Tree or is it cheaper at Walmart? Make your choice. Um, I don't think I'm going to end up buying anything, and it's very hot in here. Dollar Tree, no matter where I go, it's hot. I'd like to maybe get some stuff for Skylar's snacks. Maybe I need the next aisle. I don't know. I could pick some stuff up for her, but there's a line. Do I want to wait in line? I don't think I do, and it's very hot. And there's certain things that I'm not 100% sure. I'm backing up. Watch me fall. Like, I don't know if she like really likes these kind of crackers. I know she likes, I still call them Pringles. They're the Lay's stacked. The cheddar ones, I'll get, no, oh, that's right though. Shit. I don't know, I think I'm gonna skip it. Let's go back to the car. I am back at the therapy office. Oh, I have to have the car on. Get some air. Yeah, that Dollar Tree, nothing impressive. It looked bigger on the outside than it was on the inside. It's about the same size as all the other Dollar Trees. The one in Sanford, Maine was really nice and clean all the time. The one in Hernando is clean and this one didn't seem to have a good craft section uh, unless it was just hidden by boxes. <laughs> and Hernando has a pretty good little craft section so I'm glad I checked it out. Uh, you know, I think I'd still rather go in there than go in that bargain hunt store that I went to and I certainly don't have any interest in going to the Goodwill here. And so anyway, it gave me a little something to do and I hope that uh, you guys will be okay with me doing some car vlogs or bringing you into stores when I'm here. I did look and there was a thrift store. I don't know how far it is but I would have to, uh, you know, drop Skylar off and go right away. I, I do like to check out thrift stores and do go check out my denim squares if you're at all interested in that because I need to be able to continue to do those. I just love cutting the jeans into squares. <laughs> so I've got to make it worth doing that. And so, um, what else? What else did I want to tell you? Anything? Anything at all? I don't know. I started doing my um, accounting for August and I for sure spent over $3,500 on fabric in just August. <laughs> and I, I had such a good sale that I just placed 
three more orders for fabric, not big ones. One was almost 500, um, oh, the other under 200. That's, that's like nothing for me. And then one at, um, trying to remember, Benertex, some really cool things. I'm going to say like 300. Usually I spend 300 each time I order from them and I order often. But I needed it, you know, I needed it. Not really, I didn't really. But I like variety. I have a lot of fat quarters. I want other things, not just those kinds of fat quarters. And I haven't been able to get Batik. I still have a little bit that I can sell from uh, those bundles that I had showed you during an unboxing. But I broke down and, and paid more for Batik from Benertex. And uh, I don't care if I break even. I don't care if I go under. I like to give my customers variety. I want to keep them coming and uh, I want new people to come on board and you know it's not going to break me if I spend some of my time getting orders ready and taking the pictures and doing the packing even if I break even. That's how I look at it. I, I just don't care. I'm not a couch potato that can sit and watch TV all day. I have to keep myself busy and it's um, you know I'm, I'm fine with that. My overall picture shows that I'm making money. That's all I care about. <laughs> I don't say things like, well, I paid more for this, so I'm going up on price on this. No, I just don't do that. It's just easy. I have a price list that I've made up from my own self, and I don't care what I pay. If four fat quarters are 10 bucks, four fat quarters are 10 bucks. I don't care if I paid uh, you know, more than I should have. And that includes the shipping. All my stuff is free shipping. So if you're interested, you can always uh, get the details in this description box of this video somewhere. And, uh, or not. <laughs> well, is that her? I was going to say, she should be coming out. My little blue head. It's, it's blue hair right now. All right, I'm going to say bye. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you continue to watch my car vlogs because I'm starting to really enjoy doing them. Uh, thank you for letting me get all that shit out. <laughs> I feel better. Bye.